It's a very good question because I think a lot of things. I, I think it is not a controversial topic that there's something seriously wrong with our education system as a whole and that we need to redesign it. You know, everyone went to school, um, you know, they remember their favorite teacher, they either have kids in school, everyone can identify with it. And I think, you know, the majority of the people recognize that there is a crisis. So I think, I think that's the main reason. You know, one thing that's been interesting is um, there is some criticism from people that haven't seen the movie. So the movie, fortunately, has gotten a lot of press and generated a lot of interest. Our goal with the film, because there's no way we could cover every possible issue in education thoroughly, or even at all, every issue in you know cinema time, in 100 minutes, for example. So we knew there would be this isn't in there, that isn't in there. But people became so involved in the issue because of our film and some of the other films out there and the news coverage and the fact that we came out, you know, back to school time, that they became very, very engaged, skipped the movie, went to a website that said things about the movie that may or may not have been true, and, and, and got involved that way. Ultimately, you know, if people are getting involved in education, it's a net positive. But that, that has been a phenomenon, you know, very strong opinions about the film from people who have not seen it. You know, there's always the urge to add more, and um, there's like, oh, if we had put this in here, that would have answered that question, and if we had put this in here, and we, you know, we don't talk about the entire finance structure of the school system, we don't go into special ed, there's things that we just couldn't cover, because our story was five families trying to get into a lottery, which were held at charter schools. Um, but then it would have been three, four hours, and no one would have would have seen it. So um, there, there are things, uh, but I, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I, um, you know, I would have loved to do a movie that was just talking to teachers, you know, or but it, th that's a different movie. We are. Um, the website is continuing to be updated. And that's going to be updated well through next year. And we just um, put together a group of 20 town halls that we're doing. We, we did one already in Los Angeles this week, and they are unfolding throughout the next couple of months. So people see the film, um, some experts come, and uh, anyone can come to this town hall, and they can participate in a healthy discussion afterwards. I am. I feel like you know more people than ever, um, and, and our film you know only plays a small role in that. More people than ever are talking about education, and what's different now than before is that there have been a lot of well-intentioned ed reform organizations that are great, well-intentioned politicians, but now the conversation has been brought down to the kitchen table. So you and I are talking about it in an elevator, I hear. You know, someone next to me on the plane was talking about it. So people that weren't engaged before are engaged in a new way. So I think that now, you know, if there's ever a time to enact true reform, the time is now. So I, I hope it happens. It's already happening, even since we finished the film. There's a new teaching contract in Washington, D.C. There's a new teaching contract in Colorado. The rubber rooms have been closed. You know, so there's been a lot of reform already. So um, I, uh, I am optimistic.